So today's topic is based off of Dark Souls, or specifically what I see a lot of people say about Dark Souls. Um, but specifically, it's about what is it, what does it mean for something to be hard? Um, so a take I've seen several times, actually, in several different places about Dark Souls is that the game isn't difficult because all it takes is effort and diligence and perseverance, and you can beat it. Um, so it's not difficult because um, you just need to expend a bit of effort on it. But the thing that... <laughs> The thing about that statement is, or variance, uh, a variance of that statement, is that that's exactly what it means for something to be difficult. Um, it's kind of weird how, like, we tend to use the word difficulty or hard to refer to things that are impossible or borderline impossible. But what what it means for something to be hard is that it's doable. <laughs> um, something that's not like something that's not doable isn't hard; it's impossible. And like the reality is, is like our whole lives it's like everything that's been hard has been doable if we make if we're willing to make the necessary effort expenditures um mm -hmm. to do it um things like um l like whether it's like learning mathematics um learning morals changing one's behavior improving one's like even things like improving one's personality it's like things are hard like some of them incredibly hard um uh, dealing with things like addiction things like that extraordinarily hard but very much doable um, and people have done them and you, it's like, you can do it too. You can learn what you want to learn. Um, you can learn a language if you want to learn it, you can learn X, Y, or Z. Um, and for the most part, that's true. Um, the, and it's like, but just to like, not overdo the point, um, it's like, this is primarily when it comes to skill based difficulty. If we're talking about things like the difficulty of changing, um, like say socioeconomic class or things like that there it's like there are some things that where um it's reliant on somebody else's choices um to be successful then that that's a different type of difficulty um so it's like if if um so things like work employment uh success there um success economically things like that those require a lot those depend on a lot of other people's choices so those aren't necessarily just tied to effort um, but when it comes to teaching, uh, like when it comes to learning something, um, it's easier when other people make like favorable choices. But for the most part, it's like it does just come down to your own. Um, and, and that's true of most skills, I'd say. Um, so that's just something to keep in mind is uh, hard things can be done and you can do hard things like you can do very hard things if you want. Um, and of course, that's also the part of it is uh, deciding what you want to do. Um, cause it's like hard things are <laughs> exhausting. So deciding which hard things are worth doing, not worth doing, um, how many hard things to take on at a given time, how to prioritize them. That's a, that's a, that's something to figure out on its own. Um, but, uh, but yeah, you can do hard things. Um, and it, like, uh, and don't just think that because you have succeeded at doing something that it wasn't hard. Um, maybe that that's sometimes we do that too is like we like we've, we finally succeed at something and then it's like oh that wasn't hard after all and it's like no it, it was actually hard it's just that you expended the necessary effort to overcome it and that's awesome so so yeah difficulty is difficulty um uh, yeah so this has been desert theorem take care see y'all on the flip side and believe in yourself and do hard things au revoir